Hello and welcome back to this week's episode of Retrotainment Recast, the show that we bring to you every two weeks. As I'm back on the intro, it means I lost again, which is becoming a recurring theme these days. Don't you start there now. <laughs> I'll break those four fingers. <laughs> uh, as you can tell uh, by Carl's smug look there, he obviously beat me in the last one on a pretentious decision that my choice of change killed me. <laughs> um, what can I say? So we'll, it was a good, it was we'll, a good we'll, show last time out. It was. It was. That was the closest one we've had. I know we've had a couple of five fours, but the, the was pretty close. Yeah, it was. That was a close yeah. one, all right. Yeah, and nothing worse. Imagine Carl had a loss on a double doink again. <laughs> he loves. He yeah. loves getting beaten on the champions' advantage. Does Carl? Well, we'll, we'll uh, introduce the the boys. So we have a reigning champ, Carl. How are you, Carl? I'm all good, man. I'm all good. Looking forward to this one. I will break uh, those four fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking good. To, looking ha- forward to this one. Ocean's Eleven is one of my favorite films of all time, so uh, I'm looking forward to this. I played just with a good one with the with the teaser of going with a different movie and then changed it right at point blank. <laughs> you did. You did indeed. Uh, and then we have the challenger in Ted. How are you, Ted? Oh, I'm not too bad. Not too bad. But uh, unlike Carl with that Christmas tree, I'm going to take him down. All right. It's you know. It's mid, it's mid, it's mid January here. Carl. Get the fucking tree down! It's, Come on. I've been a bit it's, lazy. <laughs> them trees got to go, bro. It'll go gotta, down tomorrow. It'll go down be, tomorrow. It's got to be smelling or something by now. Get it out of there. That's a fake one. All right, that's fair <laughs> enough then. I will, I will say, lads, how good was it to go back and watch this movie from two thousand and one? How well it holds yeah. up. Well, it was, it was very, very good to be honest. Yeah, you forget how good it was like when you look at the cast you're like oh yeah it has to be good with that cast but then you watch it and you're like yeah it really is it does live up to it like let's be honest yeah. it's almost perfectly cast as well yeah you yeah. know for there really could be, like, there's a couple uh, maybe maybe Yen could have been anybody really any acrobat or well it's true I mean the ones that we haven't chosen to recast here yeah you, you know, know kind they, of they're, interchange- yeah. they're interchangeable but the ones we have chosen well, here they're all very very well cast even even uh, Scott Can was very good in this in one of his yeah. earlier movies. Like true, yeah. I think I think they were all very good in their role, but like the the yeah. one the ones we've chosen to recast are the ones that you know the big ones stood out. Yeah, yeah, right. So I've gone over the rules in the back, gentlemen. You know the rules. What a nice clean fight. Yeah, I said we picture um, now. We will send the photos in as for verification. Where is my phone so I can check? Uh, I have mine ready to go whenever you are, Cal. Uh, Me too. Go ahead, lads. Three, two, one. And there you go. down. And, it, and in the words of the great Mills Lane, let's get it on. So, Carl, obviously being the champion, gets to go first. Uh, what are you? Being champion's advantage and whatnot. This week we have a nine-person pick. It's been a while since we had a nine-person pick. It is. Now, we'd have been Ocean's 11. It could have been 11, but we figured that'd be... We'll be here all night. Yeah, we'll be here too long, yeah. (laughs) So, we'll get it going on nine. Um, Carl, who have you picked for Stahl? Stahl, great. Okay, originally played by Carl Reiner. Um, What a man. What a man. I went with someone here who, you know, he's probably about the same age as Carl Reiner was here. And he's actually just shed a lot of weight. So, he's actually kind of look at it. Um, I went with John Goodman for this role. Oh, I think he played it very, very well. <laughs> I I love John Goodman as an actor. Um, so just see, seeing him in a role like this, I can I can really see it. You definitely could. John Goodman's a great actor. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, that's a pretty solid one. I had two that I was kind of going back and forwards between. So my backup, I was thinking maybe Michael Douglas would do this quite well. Um, but. Then I was kind of thinking of the character and I was like, this character is, you know, he's an old, uh, you know, an old heist master, you know, that, that's why he's yeah. been brought in. He's got the, he's got all that uh, rich history behind him. So I went with somebody that would have that, uh, that sort of history behind him. And I went with uh, Al Pacino. He'd be a bit skinnier than uh, Kyle Reiner would have been. 
Well, mate, he might have. How's <laughs> Gucci? Is he? He might have. He is. He might have put some weight on, but um, oh, he has. <laughs> I I, th- I think you know his his mannerisms and things would work very well for that role. No, mm. the only thing I will say is he's cast in Ocean's Thirteen. He he's is the bad guy I mean, in Ocean's Thirteen. It's going to continue on. It doesn't have. He doesn't have to be. Yeah, no, well, I, I mean, look, look, Ocean's Thirteen go. doesn't exist because no, Ocean's no, Eleven hasn't happened. Also, you, we also used that when Carl picked someone for Rocky that was cast in the later Rocky that he couldn't... No, I'd pick that's, Al Pacino that's, normally. That's a bit different because it, uh, we were recasting the entire franchise. Yeah, so like the fran- the whole franchise was one big thing. That was a little yeah. bit different to this. Like... No, 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 I, 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 you know, I'm not... I'm not like, I sh- you know, I should be arguing the other way and I mean, I'd get this point quite easily, but no, I, I mean, I think it'd be fine having Al Pacino there in this... To be honest, um, I think it's a solid pick. I do think John Goodman, Goodman would probably do the role a little bit better. Um, I think Al Pacino might be. I don't think he the way his reputation, his acting skills, not a. I mean, he's a great actor, but um, I don't think it kind of suits the the Saul role. I mean, he's he can be understated, and I've never seen Al Pacino be understated. Um, Maybe. I don't know. Um, I, I think he'd do it quite well. I think Al Pacino can kind of do most things well. Um, like you see, obviously, him as a gangster, and then you can see him as a solicitor in the likes of Scent of a Woman and things. Yeah. Um, can you see him being Saul Goodman or Saul? Uh, not Saul, Saul Bloom. Goodman. Um, Saul Bloom. Saul Goodman is uh, <laughs> Breaking Bad from Breaking Bad. Um, I can't. I don't think. Um, like I went with Michael Caine, who's obviously near enough the same age Caine's as Al Pacino. Sheriff. Yeah. Uh, the, the only t- if you were doing Michael Caine, I'd argue on that because he's officially retired. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You told me that the last time, actually. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think I think if you threw money at him, he'd come back. <laughs> I, I argued that point as well the last time. <laughs> don't know if that man needs any more money. You know, he's still living off them royalties from Jaws Fifty Two. Yeah. Um, Very true. But I Michael do love Hain, Al Pacino. Michael Hain is a good shout. Yeah, I do love Al Pacino, but uh, I think I will give it to John Goodman in this one. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's I just, just, I just think because of his, you know, his past acting careers of being <laughs> that gangster in so many different films, having that background, he would work in the idea that this is an old, an yeah, old hat in the trade. He's more of a vicious gangster in most of them. Yeah, but we don't hear about what his past was like in this. We just know he was an old... He's an True, old hat. He's very he's, mellow and he's yeah. very... Uh, I've never seen Al Pacino mellow. Mm. Even when he tries to be a mellow character, he still has this explosiveness about him. Like I said, the, the scene, even like Scent of a Woman there, where he's the solicitor, he's the blind solicitor, he's calm for some of it, and then he has explosive moments in the courtroom. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I will, I will give it to John Goodman, I'm afraid. Cool. Although I do like Al Pacino. <laughs> um, legend. Yeah. One of the best. One of the best. Now, Robert De Niro oh, wow. could have done it well. Um, Unfortunately, Ted, that one's going to go against you. <sighs> I can see where you're going. You're trying to play, you're trying to play on my heartstrings there. <laughs> Not even. Just, just that, like, you know, that's his, that's his forte is the, you know, is the yeah, but, the the kind of gangster fella? So I was like, ah, he'd work in that role as the old kind of retired gangster that was brought in for one more spin. But it's it's heisting is has a different area of thing than than drug running or what he does in most of his gangster movies. Like De Niro, De Niro maybe with when he when he ran Casino and things like that. Joe Pesci could have been a good choice too. Yeah, it's just the way I looked at it. I was just like, you know, he can play, he can play that, you know, I used to be uh, like a thief or like all that stuff. He has. Oh, the... he's, done, he's done that many a time as well when you look at the likes of Kill the Irishman and things. But... Yeah, that's how I was just yeah. I was thinking of with him. I was like, I think he'd work well in that. But John Goodman was a shout, though. I didn't even think of John Goodman. 
Yeah, I was happy when I when I came up with that one. <laughs> yeah. Now, although we will we will strike out ten Cloverfield Lane, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, which I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. So we'll Who's move on. Ted, you're going to be recasting Ruben here. Ruben, Ruben yeah, Elliot Gould originally. Yeah, another, that... another good actor. Yeah, this was a this was a tough one because his role is his role is kind of minimal. Do you know he's kind of the the rich guy who you sit he's on a bank casino. Roller, yeah, yeah, like he's kind of like. But outside of them going to his house to meet up, I was like, he doesn't really do a whole lot in this film, you know. Um, you see him again, obviously at the at the boxing and stuff. Um, so it's kind of like he plays his part. Like he plays his part as you know, someone with a chip on his shoulder against the person they're trying to take down. Exactly. And those, uh, those are Terry Benedict's casinos. <laughs> yeah, and like he has the chip on his shoulder against Terry because Terry's the one who ran him out, ran him out of his casinos and stuff. Um, I kind of just went with someone who was in and around the same age here, but also that I know has the acting ability, um, which maybe isn't that big a deal here, to be honest. You could probably get yeah. away without doing it. But um, I, I went with Will Patton. I think Will Patton would do the the high Easy. rolling. You're really trying to go for. Greg's favorite actors here, aren't you? No, not really. Like I actually think Will Patton would be quite good. At the, <laughs> I think Will Patton would be good for the like you know just the bank the the person bankrolling it. Like it's just a, it's a name to have on the yeah on the, the thing. You know, like there here's Will Patton is in this film, and you haven't I seen mean, it, so you have no Christ, idea you what he's Jack do. Black in here. I know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> but did, did you cast Jack Black in this part? You're in. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? Like it, this film, a lot of this film was based off, you was know, names. here's here's the yeah. names. So you get a big name like Will Patton on that. I think that's that's a, a selling point as well. Yeah. Now for for myself here, it's a bit of a risky one. Okay. And the reason I say it's a risky one because I've actually cast someone here that was in the, that was in Ocean's Eleven, and it's not. I didn't cast him because it's a tribute. I cast him because I think he'd suit this role down to the ground. And because George that movie Clooney. didn't exist, it can happen. Mm. And yes, it is George Clooney. Yeah. I, I think George Clooney would do this role fantastically. The, the rich the rich guy who wants nothing to do with it but wants revenge. Yeah. I can see that, yeah. I can see George Clooney doing this fantastically. It's like, and they, these are the kind of parts that he'll go for now. Exactly. <laughs> um, I think his time in Hollywood has kind of come to pass as a as a big A lister. You know, he's he's. I mean, George Clooney does a movie. He's still going to get a lot of buzz. I I think if he wants to step into a main role, he still can. But I yeah. think yeah. I think oh yeah, hundred percent. He probably isn't too pushed on doing it. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't need to. He's rich enough. <laughs> Amen to that. Um. I'll give you my pick, and it was Will Patton. Oh, damn it. I, I, I just think it would fit in. Yeah, he does fit in, it. doesn't he? Like, he fits into yeah. that role. Um, yeah, I, I I, don't know. I had Albert Brooks as a backup as well, mm-hmm. who I think could have could have fit in as well. Yeah. Um, but I haven't rewatched Remember the Titans the other day. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Clearly, not he a bad show, though. Let's be honest. Clooney oh, that's a very good show. show. Clooney is a good show, yeah. I mean, that's that's four good picks. Yeah. For the yeah. first four, like, like mine don't count yeah. as anything, but yeah. I thought I thought um, I might have gotten that for Clooney, to be honest. <laughs> it kind of got me on the heartstrings. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're yep. doing, huh? I see Listen, what you're doing. I was thinking, I was thinking, um, even Val Kilmer or not Val Kilmer, um, Kurt Russell might have been a good one as well. Kurt Russell would have been too as old the, for that. The, as the yeah. money man, nah, he would have been too old. Kurt Russell would. No, we could have reunited uh, Kurt Russell and John Goodman if we did that. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think if you were going to put Kurt, Kurt Russell into a role, it'd probably have to be the Saul role, wouldn't it? When you know, you can still get him. Well, there's, there's not there's nothing to say what age Ruben is. He owned the casino, so he's got to be yeah. at least eighteen. <laughs> That's all no, we I know. know. I know, yeah, but like, yeah, no, you'd presume he's in his sixties. Or seventies, yeah, yeah, like early seventies. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Well, that is the thing. I, as I said, I had Will Patton. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Uh, yes, levels it up. We got rocked in the second car. Jeez, yeah. you gotta oh, keep I that chin I, tucked I, in I, here. 
I thought I had it with Clooney. I thought keep, I had it with Clooney. Keep your gloves <laughs> high, kid. Right. We'll go with the the demo guy, kind of. We'll go with Basher. Basher. Don Cheadle's who character. Is, Just put I mean, Don if Cheadle back cast, in. Right, yeah, if you didn't cast Don Cheadle with Don Cheadle because he looks the exact same, yeah, you same, don't get a point. He's the exact same person. He's You know, he hasn't aged. Yeah. Well, it's 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 scary, isn't it? Yeah. It is. The way I went there, I actually did choose an actual Englishman instead of having Don Cheadle's real bad English accent. We could be a real trouble. bad yeah. Cockney accent. That's, that's, might... that's probably that's probably yeah. the worst. That's probably the worst bit of this movie. Yes. We uh, we might feel I mean, trouble it's here. Funny. I have a it's feeling. Funny. I, I may have. I've done something similar, so I may have the same person. My backup, I, I will say, I did very few backups this list. My backup here was John Boyega. Okay, yeah, um, I, I didn't put him on my backup, but I, I yeah. can see where you're going with that, yeah. Because I was just like, maybe if he's young, but I was just like, nah, he might be too young to do it. Um, I went to Idris Elba. Okay, no, we didn't go the same person. <laughs> okay. I went to Idris Elba here. Um, you know, demo, it, like, demo guy. A name. I, he's a he is a big name. Um, I could see him having a crack with this role. He's a big <laughs> unit too, would not he? He is, and like Basher, I mean, Don Cheadle is not a huge guy. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what I was gonna say. John, he is. It doesn't, it doesn't, say, it, it doesn't say he really is or matter. isn't, but like, yeah, really he obviously is. Yeah. Um, 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 I think Keith Rizalva would have to crack doing this role. Yeah, no, that's a, <laughs> it's a it's a good choice. I was a bit worried when you said that you went uh, an English. Uh, an English actor because I was a little like has he gone and taken the same person I have which might uh, might scupper my chances a little bit um, I had a couple of backups for this um, I, I the first thing that came to my head was, was like uh, maybe Anthony Mackie could do it I was like he's a similar sort of build but mm. I I don't know if I could see him as that uh, that grimy character Marvel has kind of made him too much of the you know the good guy especially in the um yeah the tv series with yeah with him and bucky um i went with uh and i hope i don't butcher this name chitwell edge of four chitwell edge of four edge of four yeah yeah that's it again and i was thinking <sighs> english boy i was like i know they don't they don't really specify that he is english like you know, I do with the accent he like, is. They, no, with, with with the accent he's clearly English, but you know, there's no other reference to the fact that he needs to be an English actor. But I was like, I like the fact that one of their heisters is yeah. is English boy. So I was like, I'll go with him. Yeah. Um, I was kind of thinking. I like of him, well. Shit well is a good actor. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of him from his um American Gangster. Another Marvel actor what as well, though. That is. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of thinking of him from that. I was like, yeah, he'd fit in here, nice. We both have two Marvel guys here. Yeah, How about that. Well, let's be honest. I actually, I actually had another Marvel person. Um, oh, mo most people are. Oh, yes. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake, I had another Marvel actor <laughs> as a backup, actually, uh, but he wouldn't have been a big one. Daniel uh, Kaluuya. Kaluuya. Yeah, I, like I had him as well. well. Yeah, I had him as uh, as another backup because he kind of he's a he's not a main focus. He's kind of a side role. True. In in his Marvel stuff, so I was like, yeah, he could work. But, as, uh, you, yeah. as you can see from the the picture I put up there, yes, it's the same pick that I've had. Oh, uh, yes. I never even thought of Idris Elba actually, to be honest. I did. But, I, uh, I thought maybe he's a bit big. Is Idris Elba good enough? A good enough pick to change your mind? No. <laughs> I, th I, th I think I'm I think very stern. Solid. Usually, when I have a when I have a name, I'll. Yeah. Think I think like both only, I've only been only been once that I've really been. Twisted out of a name. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, so far we've had, like, you know, all the picks have been really solid. Yeah. So it's it's hard to go There's against no any of them, picks. you know. Yeah, there hasn't There's been no anyone where you're picks. like, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with that at all. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Right. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Terry. You got to go with Frank here, really. He's the only one that's not one of the main characters, I'd say. No, Linus isn't really either. Yeah. Ah, Linus is pretty important. Yeah. Well, they all, well, to be fair, they all play their part. But yeah, we we'll go, we we'll go with Frank then. Okay, Frank, right? Bernie uh, Mac, old Bernie, Bernie Mac. Mac. So this is a hard one to, to do, Bernie Mac, because he fits this type of role so well. Like he does it in so many things where he's the, he's not exactly the bad guy, but he has that edge to him. He's intimidating. You know what? There's he's only one thing. Intimidating. 
I can ever remember with Bernie Macken was, um, do you remember Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood? Yeah. And he pulls up as the cop and he's like, I hate black keys on a piano. <laughs> but uh, see, like I even think of him in, uh, like, in Bad Santa, you know, like he's the... Oh my God, I forgot he's in that. Like he's the good guy, you know, he's the he's the store owner, but he's just so intimidating in it as well. And like, he, but he can play the, you know, kind of cowardly bit as well, which he obviously has to do in here, where I, he's like, oh, please don't, please don't fire me sort of bit. And then he turns it on straight away. Like, I love him in the remake of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Yeah, he's, uh, he's just, he's, he's fantastic. Um, uh, it was, uh, the original was like back in the 50s and it was uh, Sidney Poitier. He oh, was, uh, he was, his white, his white girlfriend brings Sydney Poitier to dinner with, oh, yeah. with her white family. Yeah. So they reversed it in a, in the two, in the mid two thousands, and it was a uh, Zoe Saldana was was bringing Ashton oh. Kutcher. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, I, did, actually, I, did. I do remember. This. I do yeah. remember. Bernie, actually, Bernie Mac is the, is that, the power. Yeah. and he's the same <laughs> same character he is in everything. Intimidating, yeah. but also you're you know yeah, likable as well. Fun. And like you said, he's even, he's even funny. He's even funny in Charlie's Angels. Him yeah. had no black Irish. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's 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 great in everything he does. I found this yeah. one quite tough to do. Um, this was the hardest role to do. This I, this was the only. This was one of the first. Times. I remember when I said just as we got off the call after doing it the last time, I had two names before we finished up. This was one of them. Yeah. Um, this, this was is, the hardest one. I I was struggling. This one. This was the last name I put down. Yeah, I, I struggled with this one. I went with someone we've used before who I think sort of fits the role, but I don't know. Like, he's definitely not on the level of uh, Bernie, Mac. <laughs> of Bernie yeah. at all. But I went with Jamie Foxx because I think he can play that intimidating role. But okay. also, you know, kind of the the suave kind of guy that he is before that, you know, before he gets called in, he's quite suave and, you know, yeah. oh, what's the big problem, guys? You know, like, everything's grand. Like, I think he can do that well. But in terms of an acting ability, I don't think he's anywhere near Bernie Mac. True. I went with someone who does have a good acting ability, depending on what you've seen, because he has some stinkers as well. Um, Terence Howard. Oh. Yeah. Like Terence Howard. <laughs> yeah, Terrence Howard. Good. And he can yeah. be intimidating as well. If you've seen him in Empire, he is very, very intimidating. Yeah, no, he is, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he, um, was he not in the first Iron Man as well? He was. He was. He was. He, he, was, was, in, a, um, he was Rhodey he in, the first, in the first Iron Man. <laughs> he was but in. He got tossed. But then he wanted. Uh, he wanted the same amount of money as RDJ, and they said, "No, <laughs> no Don Beadle, come here." <laughs> uh, what's he? He had. He was in Prisoners as well. He wasn't a big role in that, but he was in. Yeah, he was the Prisoners. He was the listener, wasn't he? Or... Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I've only watched Prisoners once because it's not. Like it's, it's a good film. Easy watch. It's not yeah. an easy watch, and it's long as well, and it feels long as well because of the subject Intensity. matter. Yeah, well, because of, of the course. subject matter, it's a long enough yeah. one. Yeah. Ooh, they were, they're toughies. Again, another yeah. two good picks. That's be honest. Two solid picks. Yeah, lads, he's missed an absolute trick here. I put Craig Robinson in. Um, two, I don't know if I Craig... think he just slots in straight in there. I don't know if he's got the I intimidation. Was very happy with that. I like Craig I, Robinson. I don't I, know if he's that he's, intimidating guy. Yeah, though. I, I can definitely see where you're coming from. Yeah, him in. yeah. I, I was full set that that was it. Like, hundred percent. That was the first name. Well, second name that went down on my list. Um. Yeah. I don't uh, know. I was kind of. I did think of him, but I was like, I don't know if he has that intimidation in him. Maybe he does in other things, but I, uh, like, I, there is, there's parts of it, there's parts of it in the office and everything you see it. He's more serious when there. He start, I don't know if he's he starts going mad at Michael now. I think he's more serious then, but I don't know if he's intimidating in the way that Bernie Mac was. Yeah. You know, it's a different type of intimidation from him. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I think he, I think he fit in. Um, tough one. Mm. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Terence Howard here. Yeah, I I can't really, can't argue with that to be really, honest. Like, really, because I have a a bit of a dislike towards Jamie Fox as well. I know I've used him in a few things, but yeah, like uh, I I don't think he's any great shakes as an actor actor, but I think this is the sort of role. You know, depends. Depends. He definitely depends on the role. He deserved his Oscar. Oh no, like he, he can do well in the film oh, yeah, like, in certain things, but you know, like I wouldn't say he's you know 
anywhere yeah. near the level of uh, like Bernie, like you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you've got to you've got to put the role, you've got to put him in the right role, and he'd be. Yeah. Let's suppose it's the same for every actor, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sure. But I think he, I think he would do well in this role. In this role, but I like I can't argue with them. Um, yeah, I can't argue with Terrence Howard yeah. really. To be that honest, was, the that last was name that, it was the last name that came to me, and it was just it was racking my brain for ages to try and get it. <laughs> so what are we? We're two all now. Two two leveled. Yeah. Two two with four five. to go. Five to go. Five to go. Five, five to go. go. Five to go. Uh, right, we'll try and speed it up a little bit because we're getting wagely sidetracked. <laughs> um, we'll go with Linus next, who was obviously Matt Damon. Cool, cool. Um, so obviously we're going for someone that's young-ish. Yeah. yeah. You know, because it's you know he's not older than Rusty or Danny, so he has to be younger than them. Yeah. You know, he's the yeah. protege. Um, I went with Taron Egerton. I do okay. like Taron Egerton. Yeah, um, you know he has he has that thing about him. I think um, he's great in the Kingsman. Yeah, there's think... nothing there's nothing overly special about this role. Like you know, what I mean, he's, he's not, not he's not flashy. Well, he's not suave. He's just I think, there. I think he looks similar enough to Matt Damon as well. Um, yeah, um, you know, I suppose the look doesn't really have anything to do with it. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, but... but you know. Yeah, I know. I know what you're trying to get to there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I it, think Taron's a really good choice for this. Yeah, I th- I thought this one was kind of weird because, as you said, like he's the young protege, right? Yeah, he's uh he's not that much younger than uh the likes of um Brad Pitt. I think he's he's like, not, Brad but the, not. the character yeah. is. No, the character is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of like he looks a lot younger. Like, he, he he does look younger now. Not that's not to say Brad Pitt looked old in this either. Now, to be fair to true. him, true, but. I was kind of like, yeah, he needs to be the little bit younger. Um, so the first name that came to my head, and I did, I didn't finish with it, but I was very close to leaving it as that one. I went a bit. I think he might be a bit too young, but would have been a uh, Tanner Buchanan, who we've used a few times, obviously from so many times. Yeah, we used <laughs> when, when we had to do a lot when, when we kept p- picking films with like teens in them. He's kind of one that you you can fall back onto very easily. But I fe- I feel maybe he's a little bit too young to be that role. So, yeah. Um, you'd, so I went have lost with that one. Yeah, I went with someone a little bit older who has a little bit, a little bit more of a, a mean edge to him. I think in certain like in certain films that he's done, I went with uh, Will Poulter, who is not far also off. In, what? Also been used quite a bit. <laughs> he has, yeah, but you know he's he's that little bit older. He's not too far off in age of what Matt Damon would have been in when he was doing this film. Uh, and I think he yeah. kind of like. They don't really make any specifics about the role, other than that you know he's a famous heister's son, so, and he's got yeah. serious serious skills at it. Like, um, I, I love that you know when they're sitting outside the house and um, and Ruben comes up to him and he's like, "Oh, your things, kid. Yeah, get in the house." Yeah. <laughs> the only other bit is you know when they tell him to sit in the back of the van and he doesn't listen. Yeah, I was like, I can see, the place, yeah. I was like, yeah, I can see Will Poulter being like, now you just sit there quietly and be a good boy, and then he's got goes off and does his own thing, and they're like, oh, we better go back and get yeah, him. So you can see both again. Yeah. I think oh, no, yeah, you can. Yeah, we're fairly on on this here, Ted. Let's be honest. Yeah, the both was chosen quite well so far. I think this film allows it. A lot of yeah. the other films have, you know, kind of minor actors and stuff like that, whereas this one, it's a really big cast, and you can kind of go anywhere with it. Yeah, it's true. Like I'd love, I would have loved to have seen the budget for the cast of this movie. Oh, I say huge, it was yeah. the most of the most of the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say so because there's not much to it really. Like you no. say, oh, I'll go in and hire out the Bellagio for the day and film everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then just filming from outside. Not going to cost you any. <laughs> no, they didn't even do that. I wouldn't say. Oh, they didn't. No. Well, you know what I mean? Like going in and saying, "Can I use the the casino for?" Actually, the, the most expensive thing was probably the the couple of seconds they had in the boxing. Well, right. getting Lennox Lewis. Yeah, and Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, <laughs> is that who the other one is? It is yeah, yeah, it's a young, it's a young, young, young Klitschko. Yeah, yeah. I did. I didn't notice the 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 wife fell in it. I just noticed it was Lennox Lewis. Yeah, yeah. it was Lewis and Klitschko. <laughs> <laughs> I knew one winner there. Right, I went with uh, Miles Teller. Good choice. Who yeah. we've used before yeah. as well. I like Miles Teller. Yeah. He's yeah. meant to be an uh, ass, but Miles Teller, good choice. 
Yeah, well, there's been a few that we've used over the things that have been. Yeah, yeah. no, like there's nothing wrong with picking someone that's, you know. Uh, yeah, some well, like you know, reported as as not in the bad books, <laughs> yeah, like reportedly yeah. difficult to work with. There's not against using them, I guess. True, um, the only thing I will say against Will Polder is I can't really see him doing the gaming commissioner part as well as Taron Egerton uh, does. I don't, I can see uh, him being the coward. Gaming commissioner, yeah, I, I can see him. No, I, I just can't see him pulling that off to an extent. Like when you see Egerton in, in the likes of Kingsman and whatnot, where he does change the character around. The, the um, thing that I will say, the thing that convinced me for Taron and to choose Taron was I thought of that scene um, when you're first when you first see uh, Tess, and he was like, "And here it is. Oh, here she part, comes. <laughs> here she comes. This as part of my day." Yeah, and I was just like that's coming down, Taran, coming down that's the Taran. stairs. Yeah, that's Taron all over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe yeah, no. I don't. I don't know. I think I, th- I think like, I think probably for the, the break, the break that role, but the break and entering bit, yeah, perfect. Falling off the van, perfect. Um, it's just when it gets to that gaming commissioner, that part is what I think lets is going to let him go, and I'm going to go with Taron on this one. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of thinking of him for the the gaming commissioner bit. I was kind of thinking of him when he was in a. Uh, what was that one like? Meet the where they're pay, meet we the are, Millers, is it? We are the Millers. We, we, we are, are the Millers. Millers. I was thinking of him, you know, as being the innocent, you know, I don't really understand what's going on around me guy in his, that. He gets his like, balls bit by, yeah. <laughs> by tarantula. Yeah, but even the bit where he's like, you know, you guys are getting paid so he can play the kind of, you know, not up to speed with it. And I was like, I think he could do that as the commission, as the like the fake commissioner. Yeah, I was like, I think he could do it. I, I don't. I just don't see it for me. Yeah. Um, we didn't saying that. that now. That doesn't mean Miles Teller could do it either. But yeah, Taron, no. Taron was a good show. No, Taron is a good show. Yeah. I mean, every pick has been has pretty been solid. Here. Yeah, We've yeah, been it's solid. solid. What are we five four now? Champion takes the advantage again. Three two. Three two. Three two. Oh, sorry, three, two. Three, two. Five yeah. four. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Five four to be over. It'd be all over. <laughs> um. Right. So. We have four left. Yeah. We have Terry, Tess, Rusty, and obviously Danny. 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 Right. So I'm going to leave, obviously, I'm going to leave Danny and Terry till the end. Yeah. And then we'll go with Tess and Rusty. So I think we'll go with Rusty on this one, who was obviously Brad Pitt's character. Yeah. um, This one, I only had one name down for. Um, um, he's, a, he's a little bit older than Brad Pitt was doing this, but he doesn't look older either. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Um, no, I went. Bra- <laughs> I went. I went. Bradley Cooper. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have I, to pick either of those. I think Ryan Reynolds works perfectly in that. I you know, don't. The, uh, I I will say that's one I completely disagree with. Really, I I, I think know. he worked. I think he'd work really well in that. You know, he's the. He's out there. He's, he's too, really full of himself. The, and I'll say exactly why I think uh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds wouldn't suit this role. Because he's Ryan Reynolds. And he's Ryan Reynolds in every film. No matter what. And you're just going to get this quippy, quippy, quippy. And that's not this role whatsoever. Mm. Where I, uh, Brad Pitt, or this role here, he's very laid back. Until he's not. But he's not, he's not this quip, 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 joke, joke, joke. And that's that's Ryan Reynolds and everything. There is there is a bit to it that he has that kind of jokey nature. Um, but yeah, yeah he's a bit more, a more serious in character. Yeah, possibly. Um, yeah, I, I don't I know. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan yeah. Reynolds would suit one of the the two that are the, 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 the bro- one of the two brothers. Yeah, a lot more than than Rusty. Uh, yeah. Maybe I don't know. I was just thinking. You know, he has the like looks. Why like the type of looks and like you know the suave tricking the you know younger college people it's very ryan reynolds ish you know like oh yeah i know i'm better than these people and i'll yeah i act that way the whole time i was just like that works very well for ryan reynolds uh i had chris pine yeah Uh, Yeah, i like chris pine here yeah uh, he's done well in the likes of wonder woman and whatnot now he hasn't done a whole lot really in the last couple of years 
Um, now that could be down to movies not being made that he's signed on to do or whatever. He was signed on to Star Trek and then it just hasn't gotten off the ground. Yeah. Oh, there's another one, is there? There was meant to be, but it's just yeah. like you just can't get it going. Yeah. Oh, I was kind of yeah. thinking that like this was one of the bigger names in the film at the time as well. So it's like it kind of needs to be a well, big Bradley name. Well, Bradley Cooper's not well, a small two, name now. No, I'm, I'm not saying <laughs> Would Brad Pitt have been a major name at that stage yes. or is he just mm. starting to come up? No, he, he's, a, he's a big he name. Was, oh, sure Snatch and all was out, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not saying against Bradley Cooper. I'm just saying um, against Chris Pine. Maybe Chris Pine maybe isn't a big enough name to have been the one they would think of there. You know. I don't know. I think Chris Pine's a big enough name now. Um, myself, but then again, yeah. But I think like at that time, Brad Pitt was you know one of the the hot tickets in town, yeah, like yeah. one of the hottest tickets out there. You know. Yeah. Um. I don't overly like either of your two picks, to be honest. Um, but I think Carl might be on to a bit better of a, a pick than Ryan Reynolds with uh, Bradley Cooper, to be honest. Um, I'm not, I just don't see Ryan Reynolds doing it. Like, not, that's not to say he wouldn't take it. Of course he'd take it. But I mean, then it turns into much of a comedy. Yeah. See, I, just, I, I think he, like I know he does do that a lot, but I, like I think he could, like you think he has the ability to not do it if you need if you really need him not to. You know the roles I, he's I taken think... allow him to do it. But the, the, yeah, that, I haven't seen him in a thing, role. Though. He hasn't done it. It's people. He only gets hired to do that role because yeah, maybe that's that's what you're hiring him from. If you don't, if he doesn't do that in a role, you're just like, well, that's not what I expected to see in a Ryan Reynolds film. Look, like, even he even, that he didn't um, do that. even Red Notice was the same. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with Bradley Cooper. I wasn't. I wasn't overly happy. They're, that's probably the two worst picks that we've had, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Um, no offense, but they were shy. <laughs> um, right. right, we'll move on down the tree. Ted, you need them all. Yeah. Tess Ocean. Them all. The lovely Tess. Tess Ocean is right. The lovely Julia Roberts. One. One name I had in this list. I think I might have it. Go for it. Margot Robbie. Ted? This, uh, this role is basically unimportant in the film. It does so little. Um, like, you could actually take her out and it really doesn't change. But it's, the... uh, it's still, Julia Roberts is a huge name and you need no, a no, no. name to go in as well. No, no, she is a huge name. I'm just saying the actual role itself yeah, is yeah, kind yeah. of... It's, it's minimal to nothing. Like, yeah. she's there for about, what, probably... 30 minutes screen time maximum. Jeez, if even. Not even. Not Jeez, even. I'd even. say you'd be lucky Ten. to get 12 minutes. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, yeah. not, not a big role. I went with someone who wasn't as big as that, I think, but they would fit into that kind of role. Uh, I went with Emma Stone, who I think would fit that role a little bit more. I think Margot Robbie is maybe just too big for that role. I don't think so at no, all. There's no, I, chance, I mean, there's no chance. Julie Roberts was the biggest star on the planet at this stage in, in exactly. terms of and female she acting. was a knockout. Absolute. Yeah. That's, the reason, that's the reason she got put into this. Yeah. Because there was mm. no no great acting ability in it. Um, yeah. I don't know. And that's, I, that's, I, what, that's why I went with Margot because yes, she's a knockout and absolutely stunning. Yeah. But she's probably the biggest name female-wise female actor. Actors-wise. At this moment. minute in time, yeah. Yeah, maybe. I was just kind of thinking, you know, the role is so minimal. I was like, I don't know that she'd take it. Oh, she'd take it. 100% take it. I don't know that she would. She's kind of, she's the leading role in a lot of stuff she's doing now. I mean, theoretically, she's the leading female. All right, she's the only female. But... No, but I, yeah. I'm not saying she's the leading female. She is the leading role in most of the things she's doing now. Yeah. She is, no. but... At... Really coming out at the moment with a big, you know, one of these big uh, collaborative efforts. And in this, yes, you have your main your main character, Danny and Rusty. But behind that, you have, like, everyone else, they're all so below those two. Yeah. But they're still... Names. Yeah, they're no, they still are, names. Yeah, they are. And, but, uh, like, Emma, Emma Stone is still a name. Like, she's not she is, nothing either, she you is. know? Oh, yeah. But, uh, I think Margot... I think Margot perfect for this. Yeah, I don't know. I just think Margot Robbie has become so big that she is the leading role in the things she does. I don't know if she'd take it to not even be second fiddle, but maybe like fourth or fifth fiddle. She is, but 
who would have thought Julia Roberts would have done that as well? Yeah, because at the at the time she's in the same she spot just that came, Margot she, is. She just came out of the back of Aaron Brockovich, not at this stage. Yeah, sort of. I don't. I think even at the time, I don't think she was. Julia was. No, she was. She was huge. But I think Margot Robbie is a different type. Like Margot Robbie has surpassed what most actresses before kind of did in terms of being the star of, like, not just you know. Uh, romantic comedies and stuff like she's just a star and whatever she you is. put her in now you she know star, yes. know what I mean like it's it's a different she's kind of surpassed everyone well, Hollywood, in that sense. Hollywood has changed as well There's it has yeah no like, I'm, social, I'm not saying social, social media has changed it's not, just, changed, a typical, it's not I, just a typical rom-com roles for, for women no you, you are right in that it's not but that's why I was thinking she might be like she might actually not take the role because it would just be too minimal for someone who's used to being the leading role in films now I mean, the, the, for her there, it's only going to be two days, really, on say, yeah, and get paid a fucking small fortune. Yeah, but I doubt she's like most of those people at that level aren't too worried about you know needing the money. Should get a producing role in there as well? Why not? Yeah, you <laughs> might do. Yeah, I don't know. That's just the way. That's just the way I looked at it. I was like, I think she she might turn it down because she's so she's too minimal in it. Is was what I my thinking on it. Um, she's minimal but memorable. And how? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but like I mean, you know, the role is so un like not completely unimportant, but you could kind of get away without her ever having any screen time. I don't know if you can. You need the the scenes in the a, restaurant. She is a linchpin. Yeah, like the whole movie, essentially for such a small role, the whole movie is based off her. It is, he's, but you, he's yeah. chasing her. Yeah, but they, you don't need to see her either. You could just say that he like the that the two of them know who each other is. Well, the only way the only way you could do that is because you have to see her in the restaurant. But no, you could see her. You could only see her back if you wanted to do it that way. Yeah, but no. What I'm saying is that the two men could just know who each other are. Oh, her husband. Her, I, I don't know. Her ex husband because they did get divorced. Her ex husband is this massive thief. That's him. Like you know, he could know that because he's obviously involved in stuff like that he he you'd know the people that were that big a name you know you could have got away without having her ever on screen in a sense yeah but then you lose all that subplot of you do, you you know, do. i'm not I, i'm not saying that I, that's that's what makes the movie is yeah, yes I, they're do, pulling the heist at the same at the same time he's fucking up their relationship and getting her back at the same time yeah. I, i'm not more saying, than one story to it yeah, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. Not say, I'm not saying i'm not saying that i think they should have taken that out i think it it, it yeah. does work oh yeah, saying no, that I know if, you mean, just, yeah. if they decided ah we just like we just won't put her in i think that the film still works you know yeah no Who'd you Mark, get there Greg? i had margot robbie yeah you did. i kind of figured he would but i was like i just yeah. i don't think no i do say emma stone was a really good show um, I just I just don't think Margot Robbie would take. I think the the being fifth fiddle, and what her name is now, I don't think she'd take it. I don't know. I'd say I I'd say she would. I think but, she would. Um, we, we'll 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 ring her up there and ask her. <laughs> I wish. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what she says. They're recasting um, Ocean's Eleven. There. Do you want to play Julia Roberts' character? Yep. Sound. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, that's gonna that's gonna end the contest. Yeah, we'll um, sure. Finish it out anyway. We'll we'll finish it out. So we will go with Terry Benedict. Terry Benedict. Andy this is Garcia. the one. This is the one that I said to you is off screen. That this is my probably most solid pick. Mm. Did apart, apart from Margot Robbie because that was the easiest pick of the lot. Yeah, I thought so as well. Um, it's. Sorry, I said you go first. Sorry. Yeah, um, I, I kind of struggled with this one. I didn't. It was kind of a, it's an important, like it is a very important role. But I was like, oh, I don't really know. I was kind of. I only ended up going with one person because I couldn't really think of anyone after I did that. Uh, DiCaprio. I think he could play. You know, okay. you can see him being, you know, the nasty bad guy. But the whole like. The oh, whole he's a, time he's, he's a very good bad guy too. Yeah, but the whole thing is that he's not the bad guy for so much of the film. Do you know, like no one believes he's a bad guy. He's just kind of oh no, he's just the casino owner. Like he isn't actually in that. But I, you always friend, know. But you, you always you, know. But you nasty. always yeah, you always know he's nasty as well. And I think DiCaprio could do that like brilliantly. DiCaprio is or can play that, but I've probably chosen one of the best on-screen villains of all time. 
Hans Gruber and Rickman's dead. You can't pick Alan Rickman. I didn't dead. say the best. I said one off. Okay, that's true. Javier Bardem. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> he is definitely up there as a bad guy. Yeah, Javier Bardem would smash his role out of the park. Absolutely smash it. Yeah, I think he's just too much of a bad guy, though, maybe. You know, you kind of need the, the idea that he's not the bad guy because everyone else doesn't Why, see him uh, that way. Terry's always seems, to, from, to me, from the moment he's on the screen, he's a bad guy. Because he just looks, he just looks really intense. I thought. No, but yeah, he's, he's always he's ba- like I don't, get, I never get the feeling whatsoever that he's not the bad guy. He's the bad guy from our point of view because we're seeing it from the point of view of of and Danny you, and the and boys. You hear it straight away. But yeah, what, we're see- what's your problem with 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 um? Yeah, but my point is that we're seeing it from their point of view. When Tess talks about him, she's like, he's a really good guy. And he even has to tell her, he's like, he is not the guy you think he is. So to to the outside world that aren't involved in the robberies and things like that, they all think that this is a really nice guy. And, you know, like he's just a, a really good business owner and he's a nice guy. That's how everyone else views him. They know he's not. So like you have to have someone who toes that line. I know we don't see it the whole time. But like I think that's part of the the role. I don't I mean Javier Bardem can do that. Let's be honest, mm. he's he like he he's actually going to be doing who's he playing in his next role? It's coming out soon. Um, meet to something I don't know whatever it is. It's uh, I love Lucy. You know the the story of I love I love Lucy, and he he's playing the husband in that. Yeah, um, I don't know, yeah. Like, he's not a bad choice. I'm not saying he's a bad choice yeah. either, but I'm just saying that I think the character does need that nuance in it. I mean, like, I should, like looking at, at DiCaprio in uh, in Django, yeah. he's so fucking good, isn't he? Oh, DiCaprio's great. Don't get yeah. me wrong, I love DiCaprio. I like Bardem as well. You should, um, have, won, you should have won an Oscar well before the movie that I didn't see. The movie was <laughs> shite. Yeah, I didn't, I Revenant didn't watch The Revenant. Shy. Three hours or two and a half hours of dribble. And a bear. Yeah. Don't forget the bear. The bear's <laughs> important. Bear should have won an Oscar. But uh, it wasn't even... Should have won the, an Oscar well before, yeah. well before that. He definitely should have won one for probably Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, and maybe another one even before that. We should probably have two or three at this stage. One for Django. Django, yeah. Yeah. Um, I went with a very intense bad guy that we've seen in TV. Uh, I went with Giancarlo Esposito. I think that's how you okay, say yeah. it. Anyway, uh, who's obviously in I like Giancarlo. Uh, Breaking Bad. He was he was Gus in Breaking Bad. Who in is the Mandalorian? Pretty, yeah, he was in the Mandalorian. But Gus in Breaking Bad is pretty much Terry Benedict. Yeah, he's maybe a little old. I don't know. Garcia was definitely uh, in his fifties doing this. He has to be someone that Margot can go with. She's a John, gold digger. It's fine. John <laughs> Car- Carlo is like in his sixties. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's in his sixties. Oh, that was me thinking. Grand, I could pick that name off the top of my head. <laughs> no, he's he's in his he's in like his sixties. Yeah, he's. I think he's a bit he's a bit I'll, older than you need him to be for this role. I'll take that one out then. So, I was actually thinking of him for. Uh, Saul's role but I was like he's actually too he's too young to be Saul and he's too yeah. intense yeah and uh, yeah that's the reason I literally went off his intensity in yeah. as Gus in Breaking Bad I, yeah. like, in terms of acting ability he's fantastic but I just think he's probably a little bit old yeah, yeah. for that role uh, that's fair that's fair Um, I will give this one to Leo though because Leo is Leo yeah he's quality Yeah, the man is at this stage probably the best actor on the planet really uh, Hard to argue. Arguably up there, yeah. Like De Niro is probably the greatest actor of all time in terms of the diversity of his roles and whatnot. But Leo is at this minute in time is probably the best actor on the planet. It's very hard to argue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, now that that's just my opinion. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> but I'm never wrong, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> well, um, you're not here, so. Well, I'm not wrong. I'm the judge. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you were wrong though. Some of them, you know. 
well, if I was right here, would I not have given it to Carl? <laughs> Yeah, that would have been the right decision. No, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're wrong on other decisions. Um, right, lads. We'll give it to Danny Ocean and then we'll get the hell out of here. Lovely. Uh, George Clooney. Now, this, I will say... No, you can't put George Clooney in again, Kai. You can't use George Clooney. Right, I win that one, right? <laughs> Carl, put, George, right. put George Clooney will, in twice, Greg. You can't do that. I will say this role here was the one I was least confident with. So I'm glad that it's over before it gets to here. Mm. Um... Even though I do like my, I do like my pick, um, it's just a, it's just one that I just I wasn't too keen on, but I was hoping Greg would be. Um, I went with, with McConaughey. I like McConaughey. I yeah, like I do him. like McConaughey. I like thinking about it. I like him for the role, but you know, I I wasn't a hundred percent on it. The, I have to wonder. I have to question: Is he suave enough to be Danny Ocean? That's why I was thinking. Yeah. That's why I wasn't 100% on it. Yeah. Um, that's the only I, thing I'd argue because acting wise, he's, he's a better actor than George Clooney. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just that suave nature that Danny has. Yeah. Um, I had two people here. Um, well, technically, I had three because one of them was Leo, but I decided to use Leo elsewhere. Um, well, you, you would have lost picking Leo here, I think. Yeah. No, and that's why I didn't. Yeah. The other two I had, one I don't think really works. I was kind of thinking Colin Farrell, but he was more of a 50-50 with Leo in terms of going in as... Um, him around. Yeah, as going in as uh, Terry. Um, you're, the last, I, but you're the last with both of them. Yeah. Who um, I went with is someone who I th- who can play that kind of suave character, but he's a bit of a... He's got a bit of a nasty streak to him as well. Uh, Christian Bale. Hmm. Don't like either of those, lads, to be honest. As I said, I wasn't entirely happy with mine. Uh, but I, 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 I think will Christian, say I, I think McConaughey suits a little bit better than Bale. I think Bale could suit that well. Like you know, when you think of him when he was Bruce Wayne, like not as Batman, but as Bruce Wayne, yeah, he's he the suave. I don't know. I think he plays the suave only, bit quite he, well. He only plays that suave bit well in The Dark Knight when he goes to the restaurant. That's the only time I really see that kind of suave nature that he has as Bruce Wayne. Remember, he brings the two. It must be two hookers or yeah. whatever with him. Mm. He bought. He bought the hotel. I don't know when he. Yeah. When he's talking to. Let's go. Uh, let's go swimming. Yeah, hey, but you, you can yeah. go swimming. I just bought the hotel. Yeah. yeah. Well, even when yeah. he's talking to, um, like, uh, when he's upstairs in the house talking to the cat, like the cat burglar, the cat woman at the time, like you know, I think he's quite suave and quite you know confident and full of himself, which is what Danny Ocean is, but. You know, there's a, a nasty streak there as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I can't say I like I, I'm fairly. I was I thought we've done very well here today in pick in both of our picks, but I really I don't like Bale for that role. I don't like either of them either. To be mm. honest, um, I went with Chris Evans. I think he slots in there perfectly. I yeah, maybe he might be a little bit young. But then again, like you look, Margot was younger than Julia Roberts was, I'd say, at this stage. Yeah. Um, the, the cast that we've done today has gotten significantly younger mm. than the cast we've used, that were used. I don't know, I think Chris Evans is maybe, uh, and maybe this is just because I'm so used to him as, you know, the... Captain America. The clean cook, good guy. He's yeah. a bit too much of the good guy for... Danny Ocean you know Danny Ocean is not a good guy either you know like oh he's not by far he's not he's a thief yeah Yeah. but he's the best of the the thieves theoretically because he doesn't do a whole lot so the lads do all the work he just comes down and picks the money up and goes yeah Um, I know he puts I know he puts the plan together yeah no he does but it's just you know that's I'm just saying like I kind of view Chris Evans in a different light than I would have been the, and it's the bad the boy. <laughs> well, I mean, he's far he's far from the bad boy in it. Do you know what I mean? No, but you know that he's meant to have that streak in him. Yeah. Of you know, I think yeah. I think playing Captain America was always going to do that to him, wasn't it? Who might have been better than him would have maybe been Sebastian Stan. I didn't even think of Sebastian Stan to be honest. If you're going, I to think you would have been a. He'd be a better Rusty than he would be a Danny. No, but I'm, I, I don't, I'm saying, I don't know if, yeah, I'm saying if you're going with like the idea of Chris Evans as 
Danny. I think Sebastian yeah. Stan is a closer. It would be a closer shout to Danny than. Uh, I had I had Chris Pratt as well. No, too bad. Um, but too I was buff. just I was just kind of like, no, it doesn't work. Um, I, I liked I liked my pick for Chris Evans. Um, I knew we brought the age down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, significantly, in terms of the other cast and around it. Unless we cast my cast as Michael Caine, who's about nine hundred years of age, yeah. but um, I don't like either of those two picks. I was uh, I was least confident on it, but can we call that one a draw rather than me have to pick one? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. I really like everyone knows my feelings on on Christian Bale. Yeah, but I don't like, like your feelings on Christian Bale. Yeah, per- personal <laughs> feelings of disliking an actor doesn't really. Yeah, I know, I know. know. Um, like that's the only thing that sway me because I don't see either of the two of them doing this role. Um, I think McConaughey is kind of too rough looking. Um, I remember though, he started off in rom coms. No, I know he did, but you know, at that he wasn't, stage, he wasn't. He wasn't a rough looking. You know, at that stage, yeah, he has. Like his look and demeanor has changed so much over the last twenty it years. Has. It has. Um, like when you look at George Clooney's look and demeanor, it's still the same as it was when he made yeah. this. Do you know what I mean? Um, for That's that, I, for that, I'll probably give it to Christian Bale. I don't overly like the pick. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying I was super sold on my pick of Danny for Danny Ocean either, but yeah. Um, I'll give it to Christian Bale and it'll make it a bit closer at uh, what? 5-4 five, 5-4 four. Five, four. Yeah. I think I was kind of stuck with Tess I kind of I knew I kind of had a feeling of what way that would go anyway and I was like I think I need to go out left field to avoid a draw yeah well the I, draw the draw probably, the draw would have done you no it would have been 5-5 I would have five, 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 yeah. lost anyway so I was kind of like I need to go out left field on that one I think that one was just too easy to pick. Uh, sort of. I, I, I still think that she wouldn't take that. I think she's surpassed even that sort of role. I know yeah. what you're just saying and that Julia Roberts was a huge name at the time. I think she's an even bigger name than that. Um, I think it's just because the, the media around Hollywood has changed now. That's the no, reason. I'd mm. say she's not on as much a level as Julia Roberts was now when Julia Roberts done this. It's just uh, everybody like social media and things have made things more publicized no I, d- I don't think so I, th- I think I think even with that even if you factored that in I think she'd still be a higher um, I think I just think she'd be she just blows her out of the water in terms I of I think um, like I know I know this fact there's not Hollywood. much there's not this well Julie Roberts has an Oscar yeah but <laughs> the awards don't like the like those it's awards Will, are all Will all Smith like, doesn't have an Oscar it doesn't really yeah, matter like, if you have an Oscar or not like, no that, I know but really like, matter, you know? Like, <laughs> I can't I say think, she blows her out of the water by any stretch of the means no but I'm not saying in terms of like I'm saying in terms of you know her name in Hollywood like what her name value is in Hollywood now I think what her, Margot Robbie's name value in Hollywood because she's start like she's starring starring in films you know over like, I, I I disagree there. Uh, Julia Roberts is, and I think still is, even though she's not very yeah. active. Julia Roberts is still a bigger name than Margot Robbie. Oh, 100% in Hollywood. By it's... far, Margot Robbie is a better actress. No, but I'm you saying... If so? you, I'm saying if you, comp- if you compare them at this point in their careers, you know, like Julia Roberts then to what Margot Robbie is now, Julia Roberts has that name value because she's built it up for so many years. Whereas back then, yes, she was a very big a- actress, but she was very, very typecast in the acting she was doing. This was like, this was a step out of her comfort zone. Whereas Margot Robbie, you know, has kind of surpassed that in the sense that like she overly, like she takes over, like she's the main, act, like she's the main lead in a lot of the films she's doing now. Uh, regardless of who it'll else be, is in it. It'll be interesting to see how that'll change, say the likes, if she has a kid or something now and might lose the body that she has or... It'll be interesting think, to see what the fans pick for this. Yeah, yeah it will be. Um, but obviously, I've lost here, so I'll give you the film that you're doing next and it's going to be a tough one. 
Um, unlike oh, this Robin. one, <laughs> unlike this one where it was a lot of big big names, uh, this one is a slightly different set, and it is the Crow. Nice. It's a solid, solid film, but none of these people were huge names by the time they got to it. So well, obviously, obviously, we'll have to be careful because of the reboot that's due to come out. Well, that, and, I think that's been canned. So, oh, has canned it? Again. Yeah. yeah, that got canned again. So I don't think you need to worry too much about that. So um, I'm literally just going to go and take that cast and be like, there we go. Well, Can't lose. <laughs> Maybe I don't know if I was overly happy with some of that casting, but I only I only seen uh, I only seen who was cast as the crow. So, yeah. but uh, we'll leave it at that, and we'll see you again in two weeks. Carl will hopefully have his tree taken down by then. Uh, it'll be you know February then. It, well, near February. It'll be nearly February <laughs> by that point. So hopefully uh, he has it down down by then. But uh, depends. Depends we'll, if I'm lazy enough. We'll have to wait and see. But until then. <laughs> Don't you forget. respect your four-time champion. Yeah, until then, <laughs> until then, don't forget to, you know, like and follow all of us on um, YouTube. And don't forget next Thursday to vote on the polls on Carl's Instagram on at Carl Sherlock. And until, uh, until two weeks, good luck. <laughs>